The ocean race takes us to some of the most remote places on Earth. Days away from help, fully dependent on our sailing skills, our boat and the technology on board. As a navigator, it's my job to get the best out of that technology in all conditions, to keep our crew safe and our boat going fast. We carry equipment that enables us to analyze our performance and we use both historical and forecast weather models to make strategic decisions based on detailed risk and reward calculations. For nearly 50 years, the Ocean Race has been all about pushing innovation and technology in some of the toughest environments you can imagine. Now we're applying those same principles to ocean conservation and science. By collecting vital data in some of the world's most inaccessible places, the Ocean Race Science Program is helping researchers on shore understand our changing climate. Here we are, and uh, nestled neatly between my bedroom and the kitchen, we've got this big box here which is uh, containing all the science equipment that we, uh, we're taking with us um, yeah, across the ocean. We can pull the lid off and have a look what's underneath. I can try at least. But you can see we've got water, water coming in and uh, so we're doing science while we're sailing. We, uh, we literally turned this on at the beginning and, uh, and it's been running all race. So I think what's, what's really important is, you know, we're lucky to be out here in the open ocean and we can, we can use our position as sailors out here to, um, yeah, provide, provide feedback and real-time data and, and help feed information, you know, 24-7 that otherwise uh, people wouldn't be able to wouldn't be able to get. So it, it's nice we're measuring things like uh, dissolved CO2 in the uh, in the water, salinity, sea surface temperature, and uh, from that they can calculate things like pH and uh, ocean acidity. Doing our bit for ocean health and uh, and uh, supporting science, which is which is very cool. So uh, there's a constant feed of water coming in, coming up the uh, up the keel and feeding water in, and it goes through this complex array of tubes and pipes, and uh, in here where it's uh, tested and sampled. There's uh, CO2 measurements, the salinity measurements, uh, the temperature measurements, yeah, electronics, which is saving all the data, recording all the information, and uh, we also have a feed-in from our GPS system, so uh, it's all geolocated. And uh, once we get to uh, Newport at the other end, we can plug in our memory stick, uh, download all the data, and uh, send it off for analysis. The objective is, you know, for, for more racing boats to have this sort of equipment. So on this trip we're doing now, it's a, it's a really good opportunity, you know in a sort of non-racing but racing simulated environment where we can test the, you know, the reliability, how intrusive it is into our, uh, our actions as a, as a racing team, um, whether it's robust enough where it can, it can take the punishment, how much power it uses, which is uh, an important thing when we're trying to uh, use as little power as possible every day. So it's a, it's a really good test and opportunity for us to uh, help refine the system and, uh, and no doubt by the time we get to the start line in, uh, in a couple of years time then uh, you know, it's going to be even more refined and even more improved and we can provide even more relevant data. Yeah, con conditions on board this boat are uh, not exactly luxurious and uh, there's no hiding the fact that we're, we're learning to sail on a boat that's really spent the last period of its life being optimised for single single hand sailing. So we're finding new and interesting places to sleep and actually uh, when you're sleeping on the beanbag here, the science equipment gives a nice little place to wedge in. So uh, yeah, getting close to science. <laughs>